All right, hello my fellow investors, City Intelligent Investor here. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a story about Nikola, the stock. So before guys, we start this video, use the link in the description down below to sign up with Acorns. Once you sign up with Acorns, you're gonna be entered to win a free $100 Visa gift card that you can use to whatever you want. You can use it for, you know, buying food, taking your partner out to the movies or whatever. It's just free $100. Also, guys, use another link in the description down below to sign up with Robinhood. If you guys don't have Robinhood, you get three free stocks at the moment. So, I mean, it's something you guys don't want to miss out on. Also, once we hit 6,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing an Apple stock giveaway. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, and you'll be notified when that happens. And if you find these videos informative in any way, please kill that like button. It'll help me out a lot. And let's start with the video. So... What is my story on Nikola? Now, let's look at the history of Nikola. Nikola was trying to be a competitor to Tesla. I mean, they even tried suing them because, um, how do you call it? Uh, Elon Musk talked bad about Nikola, and he kind of laughed at them, and they tried suing them, and they failed because of it. Now, Nikola says they were going to release their hydrogen car, blah, 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 in 2019. Then they delayed it to 2021, and now they're delaying it to 2024. So, what's going on? I mean, we haven't really seen a model we haven't really seen anything from Nikola. The CEO has been saying that they're going to make the best car, blah, 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 right? They say they show video of the car moving. They don't. It looks like a reverse thing, you know, where it's showing that it's going uphill, but it's literally going downhill, and they kind of made it look like it's going uphill. I don't know why they would do that, um, honestly. But, I mean, there's just so much with Nikola. Um, <laughs> so, like, let's say the company came out, right? They raised money. And the stock blew up. I mean, okay, the stock blew up, right? So when the stock blew up, what did the CEO do? He raised money and he sold his shares to raise money, apparently. And boom, right? That happened. So he raised money. He raised over, I don't know the exact amount, but he raised over, let's say, 50 million, right? Then not too far from then, he ends up buying a $35 million house, biggest most expensive house in, I think, Nevada or Utah. And yeah, I mean, he bought that, then he bought new cars, he bought all this, this, and that, right? All right, so then they're telling him, what's the news on the car? Nothing yet. It's getting delayed again. And now he comes up with this thing again recently that he's going to be releasing more shares to raise more money. So, so far from what we've seen is that he raised money, he bought a house and a car, and he became wealthy. And then he's raising more money again for some what reason, apparently f making the car better, which we haven't really seen or nothing has happened. So, I mean, you take it to your own view. I mean, for me, people have been telling me invest into Nikola. They're the future, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I haven't seen anything from them and everything sounds sketchy to me. The SEC is now investigating them because they're pretty much not doing anything. So, I mean, people are investing into something that for me at the moment isn't anything. Um, and yeah, I mean, you guys do what you do with that. You know, I'm not saying you guys shouldn't jump into this company or not, but for me, from what I've seen and from this little story I'm telling you, um, you do your own thoughts on that. For me, I kind of made it clear for myself. I mean, sold chairs, bought a big house, bought nice cars, all that stuff. And now he's trying to sell more shares. So to raise money for the vehicle that got delayed twice and now it's gonna might get delayed again and we don't know how much it's gonna be extended to i mean uh you, you be the judge of that you know i mean for me i don't waste my money on companies like that for me like as here it shows eight analysts um are showing buy and hold i mean okay i clearly shows these analysts know nothing in my opinion um that's why i don't trust analysts that's why i do my own research so, I mean, you take that as you do yourself, but I'm just here giving you a little story about Nikola and what they've done <laughs> when they've raised money. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm just letting you guys know that there's a lot of things like this that happen out there. I mean, um, the reason I'm mentioning this is because I want to connect it with something, and I'm not connecting it directly, but... I'm connecting it with people out there that I see on like YouTube and TikTok and stuff like that that are saying, hey, um, buy my course or buy into me so I can show you the method to make a million dollars or 
make this much money quickly. I mean, I've been in the market for 12 years. I've been a professional um, investor and stockbroker for six, you know, and by all means, I'm not giving you financial advice. If you guys think I'm doing that here, I'm not. Um, but I see the way these people talk and they are not telling you the right thing. I mean, if they were able to do that, then they wouldn't need your money to show you. You get me? For me, I show you limited information. I could show you more. I have my own method of investing, like um, many people do, you know? Um, like for me, like I said, I have a method that makes me a lot of money, and it hasn't failed me yet. I'm constantly making money. It is risky, but I make a lot of money through a method that I'm using, and... Um, am I going to tell you guys? No, I'm not. Why? Because it's my method. It's something that I work hard for and I came up with this method and, you know, I'm using, it took me a while to kind of understand and do my math on it and it, it works for me. So I make a lot of money that way, but I'm not going to tell it, I'm not going to say it because then that's going to ruin it. You get me? So if I'm making money, I'm not going to be telling everybody just to get views that I don't get paid for or, you know, charge people to know this method because then it's going to stop working. You know, so um, a lot of stockbrokers have their own methods of making money. I have my own. And these people on YouTube that are telling you that you're going to make 20, 50 percent or 2 percent a day and or something like that. that that's all false, guys. You guys aren't going to make that. OK, um, the most successful traders were Warren Buffett and well, George Soros, that racist dude. Um, and yeah, I mean, they average 20 percent a year. And that is really good. They've broken that record, making 20% a year for the past 20 plus years. So um, if you guys think you guys are going to do better than that, you're not. Okay. I mean, right now we're in a good market where, you know, you can make good returns, but eventually it's going to slow down. That's something you guys have to understand. So you guys want to build a method where you guys can actually make money and not fall for, you know, stuff like that. Right. And companies like certain companies. Right. So um, just making sure you guys watch out, stop trying to become rich quick because it's not going to happen. Those very few people that do get rich quick are people that still have knowledge in the market and make money because they got lucky and they kind of knew what they were doing to an extent. Okay, so that's all I want to talk about, guys. If you guys did like the video, like I said, please kill that like button, share this video and subscribe. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.